<gasps> but see this bed? This sad little single bed? It's gone. But look what we got here! Bunk beds, baby! <gasps> you can put a toddler bed in there! Aw, oh, he climbs down. No! Hey y'all, today is a big day. There is a giant Sims update. The one we've all been waiting for. The biggest thing in this whole update is bunk beds. We've wanted them, we've asked for them, now we've got them. Are they good? I don't know, we're about to find out. So here are the patch notes. We're gonna just look at everything because there are a few other things sprinkled in there besides bunk beds that I think we should look at. What's new? So we've had some updates and improvements to a couple of hair options. So they provided conversions. So it looks like we can use them for all ages now, which are very nice. Thank you for that. Okay, they've also taken the following paintings and posters and given them more variants. Okay, didn't see that coming. We have this one, this poster, this poster. We have this one, love it. I do use these pretty frequently, so it's kind of nice to have some different options. <gasps> Oh, this is exciting. I love <laughs> these paintings. I think they just look so nice. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Cause I always want to put like more than one of these around, but I, I don't want to clutter it up with the same painting. So now I have more. Yay. Oh, we got the we got the cluster. Very cool. Oh, this is cute. Portrait of a marriage. Cute. On the gameplay side, we've made some targeted improvements to a selection of base game personality traits to make them more meaningful in gameplay. Indeed, at least tell me more. The idea is to provide these traits a noticeable improvement so that simmers can identify the specific traits with more obvious visual cues and apparent unique behavior. Okay, this is seriously something that was like needing to be done. The traits so far have meant almost nothing in this game. They don't really change your sims. Everyone kind of acts like the same person. So, bookworm, cheerful, clumsy, genius, gloomy, glutton, good goofball, hate children, hot-headed, jealous, mean, neat, non-committal, perfectionist. We've also made some reactionary trait changes to slob and ambitious. We think this selection captures a proportional set of positive and negative traits, but wait, there's more. We have also made some changes to daily activities, such as taking a shower or eating a meal that would allow them to be completed in less time. Brilliant! And then a bunk bed. Yay! So as far as their aesthetics, I'm just gonna go into the game and like check them out myself, but I was going to look at this because I think this is cool. You can now relax and bed while doing relaxing things like watching TV, even from the top bunk, finally. You may see that they come with two ladders. What if you only need one? It, by default, when you place a bunk bed against the wall, the extra ladder will be automatically removed. Beautiful. This automatic ladder removal can also be toggled off via the auto bunk beds button in the comfort sort UI. Advanced. What is that top bunk thing I see sitting next to the bunk beds in the catalog, you might ask? I, I gotta go check this out. The all-in-one bunk bed is intended for ease of use for the more grab and go builder. You might notice a sprocket icon next to the top bed's color swatch UI. Click at the sprocket will also turn off the auto bunk bed toggle for the ladder placement and offer you options to have the ladder on the left, right, or keep two ladders. This is like so much more advanced than I thought it was gonna be. Additionally, you can slot in any existing single bed below the top bunk if you want to get a little more creative. Oh, so I can choose my own bottom bed, I guess? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Placement of other objects beyond single beds will not be supported. Oh, for this first iteration, because I want to put like a desk underneath, but it says that, you know, obviously you can use move objects to do that. So we'll try that now, but it says for this first iteration, so I assume that there's going to be more added on. Why my game is this laggy, I will simply never know. I have zero mods installed, so I just honestly don't even know anymore. But see this bed? This sad little single bed? It's gone. But look what we got here! Bunk beds, baby! All right, we got the Mod Pod Top Bunk. <gasps> it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit! Wait, how can I- I want to see how I can make it fit. Is it this toy box? Okay, I've gotten it. Boom! We have a bunk bed. Oh, it changes the wood around it too? Oh, that's fun. So obviously right now it said that you can't place anything underneath, but I'm wondering, I think it said you could put a bed underneath. Oh, you can! You can put whatever you want under there. Oh, that's cool. But say if I wanted to do a desk, that's not going to work, honey. That is where move objects comes in. And boop, I can put a desk under there. Easy. Peasy, boom, desk. <laughs> and it will work, I'm sure. But that's kind of how you have to do that for now. But that's the first bunk bed. The second one just comes with two of the same bed. You want to be a little bit more matchy-matchy. Oh, wait, what? Oh, auto bunk beds on. Okay, I did not know where that was. <laughs> if I click down here, I can change the- Oh, 
neat. Okay, so they're not gonna be the same bedspread unless you do it yourself, which is pretty cool. Two different personalities. I love it. All right, the next one is this little guy. So instead of wood, it looks like it's made of like a metal bed frame, which is super cute. That's what I had growing up. So <gasps> love it. That's so cute. <gasps> you can put a toddler bed in there. So your little toddler friend could sleep underneath you. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. All right, and the last one is obviously the double decker metal frame one, which is super cute. The only thing I wish we could change the surrounding color. Cause see like if I choose this one and it has a white bed frame down here, if I choose this one, suddenly it has a black bed frame, which is a little bit weird. I mean, it's fine, but like it's a little bit weird. Oh, I could also just delete that. Okay. Okay, go off. But now I must test it. Bring in the children. All right, the children have arrived. Hi, kids. I need you guys to... Oh, read under covers. Cute. We can relax now. Why don't you go up here and also relax? <gasps> That's so cool. I want to see how they get down, too. Oh, yeah, they're chilling. Oh, the lag suddenly went away. Bunk bed saved the lag. Can you read under the covers? I want to see what that looks like. Oh, <gasps> cute. Okay, wait. Now I want you to get down. How do they get down? Do they just <laughs> climb down or do they jump down? What do they do? Oh, they just climb. Oh, I wonder if like more crazy kids would like slide down. Oh, that would be sick. This kid's making a mess. Maybe this kid would do it. Don't be shy. Go to the top of the bunk bed. Oh, he climbs down. No, I was hoping they would slide down. Be adventurous. <laughs> Let's not forget all the new different colors and variations of the posters. Those are pretty cool. I want to see the other paintings. The one that I really like. Oh, this one's different. Ooh, the girls look so cute. I found it. Here it is. I love this painting. And now there's different people. That's so cool. That's so cool. I'm actually more excited about the paintings than I thought I would be. I just love some good variation. I think just after so long of having the same thing over and over and over and over. It's nice to have something different. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's the marriage one. So that's the original. Oh, there's one of the new ones. And there's the other new one. Oh, so cute. Oh God, those are cute. I love them. I love them all. Look at this. I put some posters behind the bed. It looks so cute. It's so like, I don't know. It's so perfect. And then if you put the posters like up here too, like each kid has their own little spot. It's so cute. I love it. I like that you can also just put whatever you want underneath it. I mean, I know like technically you can only put beds, but with Move Objects Girl, you can do whatever you want. And I know people are going to come up with some crazy cool stuff. I like, can't wait. That's so cute. You know what? We wanted it. We asked for it. We got it. And it's great. I love it. I mean, they're pretty basic. I'd like to definitely see some more variations of them in the future. Uh, maybe with new packs or something, we'll get some more. I don't know. Or maybe with a free update, that would be even better. Yeah, that's like probably my only complaint is that I'd like to see more variants of it. I'm sure there will be in the future. Really looking forward to it. Hope it, hope it just doesn't get pushed aside. I would like to see more. I would really, really love to be able to choose the overall swatch of the frame and the bedding separately, like Sims 2 style. That's my jam but that's just me. As far as the new traits and stuff go, I feel like that obviously would take a little bit more of a long-term test. <laughs> just kind of play the game and see if they're any different. So we'll have to see on that one. But bunk beds, I like them. I think they're cute. Would love to see more variations of them though. And that's that on that. Leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts? Yes, no, we like them, we hate them. How do we feel? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.